Hi everyone, my name is Sandy Asher and I write books for young readers. This is my dog, Gracie. She's a reading dog. She goes to schools and libraries and kids read to her there. And this is our cat, Friday. We brought him along to listen to this book because it's a book about a cat. It's called Stella's Dancing Days. I wrote it, but I did not draw the pictures, did I? No. The pictures were drawn by Katherine Brown. Stella was a kitten who loved to dance. When the tall one came to meet her, Stella showed him her grand jetés, and the tall one grinned with delight. Grand jetés are big jumps that dancers like to do. When the gentle one welcomed her home, Stella performed pirouettes across the floor and the gentle one was charmed. Pirouettes are fast spins that dancers can do too. When the littlest one with the loudest voice would not stop crying, Stella and her tinkly ball waltzed from room to room until at last the littlest one laughed. And when the fuzzy one with floppy ears barked right in her face, Stella did her best tumbles and flips, then took a deep bow that ended in an arabesque. An arabesque is when a dancer kicks her leg out in back of her. She and the fuzzy one became fast friends, and as they shared their busy days and cozy nights, Stella grew up. She discovered bugs in the garden that needed stalking. Patches of sunlight, just her size and windowsills where she could sit and watch the world go by. She still danced now and then, but only on special occasions. Stella is a fine cat, said the tall one, but I do miss her dancing days. Stella is a beautiful cat, said the gentle one, but I miss her dancing days too. Stella is a big cat now, said the littlest one, and I am a big boy. Stella did not miss her dancing days. It was time for other things. There were mice to send scurrying from the woodpile and songs to sing with the neighbor cats beneath the night sky. One day, Stella began searching for a place where she could be alone. When she found it, she slipped away and rested there. Where's Stella, the littlest one asked. Shh, warned the gentle one. Is Stella sick? Whispered the littlest one. No, she's fine, the tall one told him. Let her be. So Stella stretched out in her special place and waited quietly 
patiently for kittens of her own. Yes. Soon she was busier than ever with kittens to clean, kittens to feed, and kittens to keep safe and warm. And when the time was right, the rest of the family gathered to meet the new ones. There were six of them, three boys and three girls. And they all loved to dance. Gracie, you were a really good listener for that story. I hope you all enjoyed it too. Gracie's about to take a nap. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.